Hi everyone, today I want to talk about a subject that it's not been discussed um, very much. I don't remember seeing uh, anything about that, so I decided to talk about it. Now, what is the subject? The subject is um, how to tell someone what you see, what you feel, or if, uh, let's say, a past one have a message for them. Now, this was a friend that was um, asking that question, and I thought it would be great to talk about this, because like I said, it's not very much talk about, because I think it's personal to each one of us. Now, before I go further, I want to tell that this is my opinion and my personal experience, okay? And everyone is different, which is great, okay? But this is just food for thought and maybe it can help you or anyone that is dealing with this. I hope it will. So. Before I enter the subject, I want to share a little uh, story about that. Um, maybe about two years ago now, uh, my grandmother was very sick, okay? And many times we've been told that she would die, um, she didn't have long to live and everything like that. But she was a strong one and a stubborn one. so. Each and every time she beat the, the doctors and she made it. So one day mom went to um, a book event where there was signing and things like that. So she met an author who's an astrologue and I think a medium too. Now that person told my mom that um, Mrs. Uh, I see your mother, she's with me, she's telling me she's going to pass and you better get ready for that because it's going to be soon if not like tonight, maybe tomorrow or something like that. So mom called me and she was like um, very um, sad and she was um, she was like, no, no, it can be, it can be, you know. So even she couldn't come home, she had to wait for our friend and neighbor who was there too, to come back with her. So, and she was very um, distressed by it. So, okay, so the night passed, couples of days passed, and nothing happened. So after maybe a couple of months later, my grandmother was still there and mom kind of felt um, angry at the person at the time because she traumatized her really and it was a really bad time. Now, before that, um, I had the gift, but I wasn't fully aware of it and using it, you know. So at the time I was saying, okay, maybe she saw her and maybe Mimi, you know, beat that and she decided to fight and stay with us. So... I didn't know what to think about it, about that event, because like I said, I wasn't uh, used to that. And I just had one side of the story, not the story, but of um, what happened, you know, and which is our side as the receiver of the news. But now it's kind of different because I can see and feel both sides. 
because yes I have some gift too and I know what it's like to deal with that now yes sometimes I have some message uh, sometimes I know they are for a specific person other times it's just a general message as for example um, love yourself more okay so there's no name with that so when that happens I'm like okay I'm gonna share it and for everyone who sees it well then you know that's who it's gonna be for so you know it's hard uh, even I deal with the fact that I'm not even sure if I should tell someone or not um, because you never know how the other person will take it now before I do I always know for if it's one of my friends for example I know that one person will um, want to know another one maybe not or you know if it's someone I don't really know I'm gonna try it and if the person wants to know okay if not that's okay too you have to respect that so um, it's hard to deal with that but what I would say is um, just follow your heart and your intuition okay and as I said try to know or see how the person you think might react about that um, if you're not sure or you don't know just maybe try to give some hints or wait a little I know it's not easy to wait because sometimes when the spirits want to talk to you or the deities um, they can be persistent okay so it can be hard um, also it's the same um, not the same but uh, as far as uh, another subject that can enter in it to its readings now I know some people who do readings um, will ask for money others won't personally I just can't that's just me okay but I respect those who does ask for it because I know it it's time consuming energy consuming uh, it's not always easy to do that um, but um, try to be reasonable if you ask charge for your reading because I saw someone once um, asking a thousand dollar for an hour reading I mean yeah that's another story some people will know what I'm talking about but let's say that this person wasn't really um, yeah I'll just leave it like that but be careful of that okay because not everyone can do good readings and also if you go to see someone uh, for a reading be respectful of the person because some people will not want to talk about certain uh, subject for example can be sickness death uh, love anything like that they're not comfortable or they just don't want to speak about that so please respect that now to come back to our subject um, as I said just follow what your intuition says and if you see that the person doesn't like it or is not comfortable with what you're telling them just stop let them be because they're not ready for it okay it can happen too but if you see they're willing to know more, then go for it. And always do it with an open heart and mind. Because um, sometimes <laughs> I know that when I'm, I'm about to tell someone, 
if it's not someone I know. I kind of feel like crazy and I'm like, will this person think I'm crazy because I see this or I know that, you know? So yeah, be mindful of that too. And just do the best you can. It should be going well. <laughs> I hope so. And as I said, if you look for reading, be careful as not to get yourself um, uh, rubbed, let's say, by someone that doesn't know anything. And it's just like turning a card and, for example, saying, oh, yeah, uh, two of cups. Well, you're going to find the love of your life tomorrow. You know, some things like that. So just be aware of it. And I think that covers it. So if you have any questions and want to talk about it, you can drop some comments below. And as I said, this was my personal experience and my personal thought. So there's different kind of way to see it, really. And I'm not here to say that one way is better than the other. Okay, it's all about who you are and how you feel about that. And also as the gift you have, because no one has the same gift. So thank you for joining me and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.